This one is called Resurrecting Darlings on Broadway. How many of you have noticed that there's kind of this weird obsession with serial killers in our society? And I think there's a couple of reasons for that, some of which are kind of mentioned in this poem, but this is kind of about that, but it's about something deeper. Looking for a way to redefine the essence of Death Rattle 89. Let me stop there. Death Rattle 89 is my uh, profile name on DeepUndergroundPoetry.com. If you look me up there, that's, that's, that's my, uh, I can give you that information again after the show. Anyway, Resurrecting Darlings on Broadway. Looking for a way to redefine the essence of Death Rattle 89. Learning the nature of all things for the way the venom sings. Fascinations of dark enticement to enthrall. Documentaries of the devil inside of us all. When monster is synonymous with the unredeemed, the vain enchantment of the horror dreamed, nightmares of the waking dead, appetites of the carnal fed, psychopathic entertainments of the criminally insane. Can you see the light for the shadows reign? Taking shape the silhouettes, riding my way through the madness of an empty threats. Unload the words to tell the story, the serial killer framed as an allegory. Lessons learned from the standpoint of damnation I've known all too well. Desperate the beauty of salvation from the depths of this living hell. Death Rattle 89, notoriety spoken line by line. A romance of sorrow and tragedy framed by frame. Significance forged of the headlines, name, obsessions of possessions, and the vain will to glorify. It's just the way we justify. I'm not the man behind the scene, I'm just the consumer. Pick your poison, every sin is speculation. You got me pegged, but it's just a rumor. Is the disturbance worth the infatuation? Offspring of the media televising the hostility. Marvel at the aftermath of what gives a man such an ability. When, star, when scary is fiction, we're desensitized to the reality, finding harmony in the chaos of another's playwright for the malady. All the horror in the market for her, undead darlings come back to haunt the screen. Light up Broadway in the dark and make another scene. Making legends of the vile, does the reenactment of the sick and twisted make you smile? Or is it just a thirst to understand what makes us human is the ugly ways of man? Can the devil be forgiven, or is it wishful thinking to believe? Can you love the unlovely when resurrection is the hope of even exiles to believe? God save Jeffrey Dahmer, find a man behind the monster. Would Jesus wash such feet so dirty? Or do you short sight the value of the blood of the divine for the ways the blood on my hands, on the hands of killers, might just as soon be mine? Forget not the victim for the way we vicariously honor. When vengeance is the Lord's, mercy is the way. God save Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. These, uh, these might be my last two, depending on how much time I still have. Um, but this is, what, 10 minutes? This is called Outside the ICU. I wrote these two poems about my mom who passed of cancer two years ago and everybody was going through everything they were going through with COVID. My world was already an apocalypse. She had brain cancer and we didn't realize how deep it was until we went out here. I lived, I lived in Colorado at the time and she lived at Myrtle Beach. And it was the hardest thing I ever had to do was leave her. hospital room and it seemed like it was taking longer than we thought it would and she had made a comment before she went under that said you know document basically what we were doing so she could see what we were doing while she was surgery. This poem was called Outside the ICU. Did I cherish you enough when you were a folk home? Caught up in my own life, I love you and there is nothing left to say. On the other side of silence, I long to hear your voice once more. I won't give up on hope, contending with gravity. Faith is a fight and you're worth fighting for. <laughs> Do 
to recount can that last this pain, depression, anxiety, and stress, heartache, amidst routine for all the things I can't control on the inside of a mess. Fractured and my heart lies open for you. Our bond strain miles away, you bleed and I am bloodstained. Another prayer for every letter I never wrote for in care of heaven's silent screams. Whispers have a way of still burning in my throat. I'll see you when you awake until then I'll meet you in my dreams. Another picture taken, I'll scrapbook my heart for you. This is what we did while you were sleeping outside the ICU. Keeping a journal for you to read when I see you. I'll write you a picture of the sky. To tell you the sun's still shining as I unearth these endearments negatives, developing hope from inner gold mining. Priceless sentiments given, value relative to you, placing bits of time, there's never enough to match your worth. Bedside horizon, the dawn has nothing on the view when you're a secret wonder in this earth. Remembering the color of the rainbow in your eyes, that like God's promise that the storm ends. When the thunder boasts with rain clouds full of lies, we stand together in the anthem of intercession of family and friends. Calling you a vacant ring, voicemail messages saying just to hear your voice again. I'm on the other side of silence. Promise me this is not where the story ends. This one's called When the Pictures Talked. It has to do with the same thing. Back to the new beginning after all that we've been through. You helped me get where I am now, but I can't help but ask, what about you? For all you worked towards to reap the end of all you've done when you found a new home, when you were a lover and not just a mother to a broken son. Don't let this end at merely one opportunity to meet my bride, when she in some ways reminds me of you. For the best qualities of your strength and mercy, tenderhearted resilience and beauty, the world's got nothing on the view. Family scenes and snapshots of our smiles after our tears, after all the pain and sorrow, don't pass before our most pivotal years. In the reaping of all we've made it through, one of the greatest rewards of our lives is standing there smiling next to you. Family, friends, and distant relatives reunited on kinder tides. After the storm's wreckage nearly broke us, we came out with truth inside. Intact and ready to face the reality and make it all come true. Yet what is my dream but incomplete? Should I live it without you? Aiming not to dwell in places I lose my mind to a thought. When every fear that haunts me is my heart's rot. Tainting every moment that I squander, wishing on what may or may not be. I leave my hope for yearning for what I cannot see. Pray that we have not made our last memory while trying to come to terms with the dimmer possibility. What is the appropriate response when faith goes to war with honesty? Asking you to hold on when it's beyond our control is selfish of me. When our will only goes so far and salvage our lives, all I can do is look at where we are right now, thanking God for every moment and praying that you'll pull through somehow. If it's your time, just give me the indication and help me to prepare, though I don't know how, but I've never known a life in which you are not there. Retreats of memory when I can't make things happen the way I want, and beautiful days feel like curses when the pictures taunt. Nevertheless, I reminisce on our last known perfect day. I watch you fading on the other side of the camera as I beg you to stay. Heart heavy, I love you, spoken, just yearning to hear you say it again as you fight through and make every effort to let me know. A lingering question in my mind refrains as it's the end. In truth, I have to tell you that I'm not ready to let go. How do I have faith for the best when the worst is all I see? Perspectives aiming to behold the lights of a new reality. Mother, please tell me what am I supposed to be when it's all the strength that I can muster just to breathe? You were the one that was always there. I'm not ready for you to leave. But if this is it, then I'll let you go. And I will honor your life with how you raised me to believe. Don't make me say goodbye even so, because I just don't know how. All I can think is I'll see you later, waiting for hereafter, after hearing that. Thank you very much. If you guys are interested, I've got pictures in the back with poet with lines from some of the poems that I did tonight, as well as lines from some other poems that are featured on homework that I've uh, created. If you're interested, so um, one for ten or 
uh, three, uh, four for 30.